All right, so now we're going to start this off. So now listen, okay, to start off class, this is what I always do, okay? So why I say class, you say yes. Class. Yes. Yes. <laughs> class. Yes. But I, I need some inter more interaction. I need some interaction from this guy right here. I didn't hear you. You're, you're fine? <laughs> I can still hear you. It's not fine. Okay. What about you? Did I hear you? No. I did. But we're going to try it again, okay? Since this being the first time, you guys have another option. Another opportunity, right? So let's try this again, okay? So, all right, class. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, listen. The key is to at least pretend to be motivated to be here. You have to be here anyway, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So might as well pretend to be motivated to be here. Don't just sit there and just like, man, nah. and like, man, I gotta be here. This guy's such a jerk. Picks on me all the time. Well, you know what, maybe I pick on you because I want you to be better. Maybe I know that you're special and I want you to actually show everyone how special you are. So we're gonna do this right here, which is on page number five in my interactive notebook, right? Good. So we're going to go through and start having a couple of things. This is stuff you probably have already done before, but it is going to be references because you already know this. I'm going to go over it item by item and I'm going to show you a couple of cool things to go along with this. Now, links. Link, linear units of measurement, the English system. English Okay, also referred to as the standard. Okay, this is America. We are the standard. Okay, everyone else uses that other system. We are the standard. I know, that's kind of weird, right? So we're standard system, but they're, they're like the other stuff. You know, the English system, but do they use this in England? No. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, whoever named it was, was off the rocker. Anyway, so 12 inches, one foot. Three feet, one yard, 36 inches, one yard. 5,280 feet is equal to one mile. The abbreviations are super important because whenever we're talking about length, you have to label your measurements. Because especially in this unit, if your measurements are wrong, the answer's wrong. That's horrible. You don't want to do all the math right, but still mess up the units, right? Don't want to do that. Now. Unit fraction contain different units, and the value of the unit is one. Here's the same unit fraction. So 12 inches is the same as one foot, right? One foot is the same, 12 inches, either way. Three feet is one yard. One yard is three feet. 5,280 feet is one mile, and one mile is 5,280 feet. So that being said, I got a serious question for you. What is heavier? A ton of feathers or a ton of lead? They're both a ton, aren't they? Okay, so different things, different amounts, same value. It's kind of like what we're talking about here, right? Okay, good. Dimensional analysis. To convert measurement to a different unit, multiply by the unit factor or by unit fractions. The given unit of measurement should appear in the denominator of the unit fraction, so that is unit cancels upon multiplication. Unit measurement that needs to be introduced should appear in the numerator of the fraction that is unit will be retained upon multiplication. Now, do you guys all understand that? No, no probably not, right? Okay, yeah. It even, I, seriously, I teach this and I'm still confusing how they say it. So, I'm going to make it even easier. We're going to go to this page right here. So we're going to start with the example 2A because I'm going to fix what's wrong with everyone's, everyone's notes. Right? So what I'm going to do for you guys, oh, hey, is there, is there a website on here? Yeah. There is a website. So how do you think you guys are going to do all your unit conversions? Hey, yeah, I'm going to make life even easier for you. Did everyone download the calculator like I asked you to? NumWorks calculator, yes? Okay, you don't need the phone out right now, okay? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, okay? So, I will show you here, and then you will be able to do it later. Do you think you can get to it from your phone also? 
Yeah. Go there. Just not yet. Not yet. I'm going to show you. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I am going to... Go. You okay? All right, NumWorks calculator. So what was my first starting value? It's in the notes. What was the first starting value? What is it? Okay, so you said inches on 2A, right? Is that the example we're on? Okay, it said meters. So 504.7 meters to kilometers. So meters to kilometers. Put in my number, 504.7. There we go. So it sets up everything for you also. These have your linear, which we are working on today. Tomorrow, we're going to be working on area, which is going to be using this third one over here, and then volume is going to be one of the later ones that we're working on. So, meters to kilometers. So, if you notice what it did here, it actually does all your conversions for you, too. So, what is my answer? What answer am I going to write down on my paper? Yep, 0.5047. I missed anything there? What did I say is super important? What did I say was super important that you would get it wrong? Measurement or what, what did I call it? I used a special word for it. Do you remember what I called it? Units. What units? What is it that we are actually talking about here? These are kilometers, right? They are kilometers. And it is, the abbreviation is right there in your notes also. So we could just call that KM. Is that pretty easy there? Yes, no, maybe. You need something right with? Oh, you got it? Okay. Easy? Yes, good. All right, so let's go back. Back to the example one here. So 40 inches to feet. Now, this is the point I'm going to ask you guys. Go ahead, take out your phone. You can go to the website. What was that website again? Uh, it was, um, uh, it's on the bottom of that page? Unitconverters.net. Unitconverters.net. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, do you, all right, so you think you're going to need to use this yourself later on? Yeah. This entire first unit, you're going to be using this. When it comes time to actually do our tests and stuff later on, you're just going to use the unit converter website because it's not. It's going to be on your computer there. It'd be nice and big, so you type it in. So go to the website, look at that. Good job. So, you are converting 40 inches to feet. On your thing, you are going to the website, not this, website, internet. Uh, I don't know, what, what's, that, what's that Apple version of internet? Safari? Yeah, that thing. Okay, you can use that or you know, Chrome, which actually would be good too. Say what? It's, it's on that slide, uh, 2A on the bottom, it says unitconverters.net. You see it? Okay. All right, so that's the website. The feet, right? No, not inches, those are just straight feet, because otherwise, we're going to do a little bit something else to make it inches and feet. 
All right, anyone else struggling to get there? Good job, yes. Now, what do you have to label? What do you have to label it? Very good. All right, anyone else need help getting there? Anyone else struggling? Struggling real? Got it good. Okay, that's a numbers calculator. You are using this website. Here. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. Not that one. The numbers calculator is for later. This is the website. No, you got it. You got it. Anyone else? Anyone else still not there yet? So it is. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Say what again? No. Say what again? No, it says I was gonna be like I couldn't find it. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget your unit count. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at my first one. Yes. Okay. So inches, forty inches to feet is going to give me 3.3 .3 repeating feet, right? Okay, I'm going to go back to my num uh, my calculator. So 40 inches. Forty inches and changing that to feet. And if you're using the website like this, it's going to look like this. It looks slightly different if you're on your phone. There you go. So 3.3 .3 repeating foot result down here on the bottom. Now the next thing, next slide says 13,200 feet to miles. 13,200 feet to miles. Two hundred feet, and change that one to miles. All right. So now, if I'm gonna, if I'm looking at it, it's actually two point four nine 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 nine. So what? What else could I say that is? If I was gonna approximate this, I would round it to what? Two point five. About two point five. Very good. So I would say about two point five. Okay, and I'll show you the symbol for that too. So 2.5 miles, which is MI. So symbol for about is means I round it. It's a wavy equal sign. And that is 2.5 mile. Es muy bueno. Si? Está muy bien. No. Hell no. Why? Why not? I don't want to. I'm not going there. You could be bilingual. Hmm? No. No. I'm not going there. Like, seriously. I lived in Korea for a year. I speak some Korean. Uh, so, teach, teach, me some, teach me a word. How about no? How about approximate? That's what I did. Approximate. The word is what? Approximate. Approximate. Thank you. See, I taught you a word. Bro, what? <laughs> Now, see all this right here. The metric system is everything is base 10. So every time you either add or take away a zero, it's always going to have a new name. 
So some of these names probably aren't very used in commonly. Okay, this would be like a decimeter or a decameter. Those exactly. It's not used very often. That's what I just said. Okay. But what is used a little bit more often would be a centimeter, centimeter or a centimeter. millimeter. I'm pretty sure if you're doing a science, they talk about a and if you're doing with uh, computer programming, refers to nanometer. nanometer or pectometer, okay? Because those are like super tiny little bitty things, but that has to do with giant computer models. Anyway, what about, what's this thing right here? <laughs> pectometer, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, commonly referred to as what? It's actually not called a hectometer. It's just a hectare. Yeah, so if you go to other countries and, you know, they don't go by acres. We go by acres here. They go by hectares. Hectares. Okay, or this is a... Say it again. Is it a kilometer? It's a kilometer. Okay, it's a kilometer. It's weird, right? Okay. These crazy people in their metric system. Anyway, so all these other things are also used. So it's important to know this. There is going to be some questions over these things right here, but I'm not going to make you memorize it. Because why? It's in your notes. So just reference your notes later on. Does that sound better? All right. So here's all the other ones right here. Uh, we just talked about those. Okay, we're not doing this because I'm um, having to use the unit converter right here. So, you guys have another problem? Here's this example. You're going to do this one here. Class is not boring. Okay, let's go make sure class is not boring. 27 meters to centimeters. 20, 20, 27 meters to centimeters. Meters to centimeters. So there is going to be 2,700 centimeters. Está muy fácil? So if I were to give you a test on the, over this stuff tomorrow, you guys are going to say what? Be like, I got this. That's always going to be, okay, one thing I ask you. If I say there's a test over this tomorrow, you should say bring it, right? 100%. I got this aced. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. English and metric equivalents. So, one inch, 2.54 centimeters. One foot, 30.48 centimeters. One yard, 0.9 meters. Now, what is that? What's that symbol? What's that symbol? Approximately. Approximately. Approximate. What does that mean? We rounded, right? Approximately, so that is rounded. Same thing, one mile is about 1.6 kilometers or kilometers for those people. All right. Do this example right here. Aquí. 
All right, miles to kilometers. So 125 miles to kilometers. To kilometers. So we have, a, let's see, 201.1, I'm going to round it to right here. Because that 8, what does that 8 do when I round? Does that go up or does it drop off? It goes up. So I'm going to say that's going to be approximately 201.17. Okay. Or if you would have put approximately 201.2, would that one also work? Yeah, because it doesn't say where to round. Alrighty, everyone still feel pretty good about this, hopefully. Convert 26,800 millimeters to inches. 26,800 millimeters to inches. You could use your laptop too. That's what other people are doing. You you got homework to do after this too, huh? I don't know. Let's see. Twenty six thousand eight hundred, right? Yeah. Let's see. Twenty six thousand eight hundred, and it was what? Millimeters to inches. Sorry, millimeters, and we're going to inches. One thousand what? One thousand fifty-five point one two. Okay, point one two. Yeah, I'll take that. So one zero five five point one two. There we go. Are we still doing pretty well? Are we still doing good, everyone? All right, is this my last example? Yes, it is. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what's on our homework. Now, I gave you all a full sheet out of the textbook. Do you guys wanna do all the problems? Say no. No. No, no, no. So there's a lot of problems here. So do we want to do all the problems? No, we don't. So this is what we're going to do right now. So we're going to cross out a whole bunch and we're going to circle ones to do. So we're going to start. We're going to cross out this first concept and vocabulary check. So you don't have to do all that. So that should, that's usually the happy time for people crossing out problems. And the next set that you're going to do is going to be right here. You're doing those. So that means no to these ones. So these are the problems you are going to do. So 1 through 15 odd. Seventeen and nineteen. Twenty seven through thirty three odd. Are we good? Do we circle all that? There you go. Yeah, only those. Now, how are we going to do the homework? So in your notebook, you have, I'm going to borrow yours again. And for all those people 
people following along online will also get the same information. Very All right, so you ready? So for your homework, so you guys are paying attention here, you're going to tape in your homework the same way that you taped in the others. You're going to do two pieces of tape, one inch long, right here and right here. Okay, right here and right here. So underneath this, what's going to go there? On your paper, you're going to do your work. So you're going to number it. So you're going to say, what's the first number that we do? Number one. You're going to write down the problem number one. And since everyone's going to do this, okay, you're, you're using that website. And so you're going to write out the problem. And it's going to say 30 inches to feet. And you're going to write whatever the answer is. And we're going to take this and you're going to put all your homework problems on here. All of them on the paper, okay? So you're not going to lose it later on because it stays in your interactive notebook. You don't tear it out. Yes? Hmm? Confused? Okay, give me one second, okay? So let me pull, pull up so everyone can see this. I need to make it a bit smaller. Okay. All right. Right here. So this is page number four in my notebook, right? This is page number four. I put my piece of tape, only two pieces of tape, right here and right here, okay? So when we do our problem, which is going to be I gotta go like this. Yeah, go like that. Nope. Okay, so. So when I do this, this is the page underneath. Right? This is the page underneath. So on my homework, I'm gonna write question one. I'm gonna write 30 feet to. Does it say inches to feet? Kind of, it's kind of, yeah, inches to feet, and then I'm going to write my answer down. I'm going to put my answer right there. So it's going to be what, 2.5? Okay, so it's going to be 2 equals 2.5 feet. <clears throat> There's that answer. The next question that we do is 3. <coughs> Now, does that make sense? Does that make better sense? Is there, is that, did I answer your question there? All right, are we good? So I'm gonna give you guys time to work on this so you can finish this before you walk out of class today. So <clears throat> make sure you all like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification button, support my channel, buy stuff from my merch store.